Man, where did I leave that guitar pick? Wait, what's my Panagor 28mm f2.5 FD mount lens doing in my closet? Wait, let's make a video about that. Oh, there's my guitar pick. Guys, welcome back to Joe Man's Land. Today we'll be doing a lens review of this 28mm lens. It's for an SLR camera. But first, we're gonna start with some guitar. Then we'll roll some relevant footage after that. Let's go. Let's get to the real reason you're here, which is the Panagor 28mm f2.5 Canon FD mount SLR lens. So let's talk about the different mounts you can actually get this lens in. So you might have a different SLR camera or a different converter for your digital camera, so you might want to look for a different version of this lens. It comes in a CY, an M42, a Nikon FX-DX, and a Canon FD mount. I think there also might be a Pentax version as well. This lens was actually made in the 1970s or 80s. I know that sounds a little bit broad, and I wish I could give you guys a more exact date, but I know for sure it was made within those 20 years. Guys, if you know what year this lens came out, please comment below. I want to learn more about it. It was made by Kino Precision Industries, which was a business that was in Japan. Vivitar and Panagor lenses actually do have a ton in common, so I actually think they might have been made by the same factory or in the same region. This lens stops down to a standard f22, which is definitely very typical for a lot of SLR lenses, but that 2.5 widest aperture is really weird. I've never seen one that's a 2.5. I've seen like a 1.8, a 2.8, but a 2.5 is not standard. If you guys have seen my other channel, you would have seen that I actually did a review of this lens on a crop sensor camera. An awesome Fuji X-T20, link above right here. But when you're shooting crop sensor, obviously it crops in the focal length of the lens. So it was right around more of a 48 or 50 millimeter, which if you saw my last video, which is above my right hand here, which was of the Chinon 50 millimeter, you'll know that I love shooting with 50 millimeter focal lengths. And I mean, that's why they call it the Nifty 50, right? That's where it got its name from. But when you're wanting to shoot wide angle, you actually want to get a wider field of view. So being able to use this lens on my Nikon Z6, which is a full frame, it's going to be a bit more of a wholesome use of the lens as well as really showing what it is capable of. So without further ado, let's cut to the future. We're going to go to Scotsman Hill, which is a beautiful local spot here in Calgary that has a panoramic view of the city. And that's the other thing. The last lens review I did was in really, really, really bad conditions. It was cloudy, it was windy, it just wasn't really that nice out. But as you guys can see today, you can barely see me, but here we'll turn this around. The conditions are tremendous and awesome. It's really nice out, it's warm. I'm getting tired of talking. You wanna see what it can do. Let's go. Okay, so now it's time for the vlogging test of this lens. Can you vlog with the 28mm Panagor? I think it looks pretty darn good. Obviously the stabilization is not gonna be quite as good if you're using like a selfie stick like I am, which is the Ulanzi MT-016, which I really don't like. It's not very good. Also it's windy, which is also not helping, but I do think that it is really useful. Um, one thing I will say I am noticing about this lens because it is a little bit older and I have actually been pretty rough with it. It is a little bit loose on the mount, which isn't great, but at least it's not loose on the camera itself, right? So if the lens fell off, the camera would still be okay. Obviously the lens would probably smash. So we'll just keep on using this until it smashes. Anyways guys, we're done at this location. Let's move on. We're gonna see how this lens can do in low light street photography. Let's go. Alright guys, that's it for this one. We're gonna do an ASMR outro. Oh yeah. 
guys, I hope you guys enjoyed learning about this amazing, 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 awesome lens. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.